I think when people think of Harrison, they think Harrison Hot Springs, it's in the name. You know, you're gonna go up there, you're gonna go chill, you're gonna go for a swim, you're gonna relax. It's like you think of Harrison as like a kind of a family tourist attraction place and they had the big park set up on the water. It's advertised as a, a place that is safe and it's not. The winds can change at a moment's notice. It's a big lake and it's, it's, it moves and acts kind of like an ocean almost. And it has taken 70 lives, over 70 lives. I don't think that's, I don't think anyone's aware of that. So you're on calm water on a hot day and you don't, it doesn't really scream danger to you until, you know, in the blink of an eye, it just, it switches. It's not anyone being stupid. It was just this like insane circumstance where everything just came together and yeah. I remember the day they went up, it was one of the hottest days of the year. So no one would have had guessed at how cold the water would be. When we took that boat out, um, everything was fine for maybe half an hour. And then within seconds, uh, it was just, uh, it was a nightmare. We were lucky. Um, unfortunately, Dan and Gary weren't. Well, I keep thinking in my head, like, as a lifeguard, if I was there, could I have done anything different? But if I jumped in, I would have been the exact same spot that they were. Once it gets dangerous, you're, you're done. You're just, you're stuck. And the only thing that could save you is a boat with a motor, really. If you don't get out of the water in the first 15 minutes, you don't come out alive. You know, that, that you freeze to death before you ever make sure. It could happen to anybody, it doesn't matter. They were both strong swimmers. It doesn't matter who you are, you could... That water is dangerous. It's not your regular lake. It's not safe to swim in, and like, you need to be like prepared if you do go in there. Hearing stories from the police of just people capsizing their boats, even with life jackets on, they still, they died because it's too cold there. So Shermanski told them that even if you were wearing a life jacket on this type of water, you have a maximum of five minutes of being in the water before the temperature of the water just catches up with you. The water temperature where they went down was 41 degrees Fahrenheit. So their, their, their bodies froze up right away. And they probably died very fast. Five minutes is not a long time. They need something out there. I don't understand why there's not a single sign up on that lake whatsoever. You know, enter at your own risk, extremely dangerous waters, cold conditions, glacier-fed lake, you know, always wear a life jacket, and they didn't have that. Anything is better than nothing. I think, minimally, there should be signs warning people, especially about the temperature of the water, because that's something that I had no idea. There's nothing warning you at all. The only people that really know that now are the people who have lost, you know, someone that they love. Now we all know how dangerous it is, but it, it shouldn't take that to, you know, to inform us. To me, it's still unbelievable that he is not here because he should be here. He should be here with me. Even though she lost her son and there's nothing much that she can do about it now, she just wants someone to take responsibility and put up a sign in Harrison to warn future people who go there to prevent future losses of other families. I know they both would want us to you know, continue living our lives to the fullest because that's what they both did. But I also think they would want people to know. To know that Harrison is not just a joke, it's not just a, another lake in BC, you know. It's a glacier-fed lake with very strong currents and it's very dangerous.